So in this video, we are going to learn how to add ClickFunnels contact to Active Campaign. Now suppose guys, you have created some kind of website or funnel using ClickFunnels and you want that whenever a new contact is created in that particular funnel or website which you have created using ClickFunnels, you also want to add that same contact in Active Campaign. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be creation of a new contact in ClickFunnels. An action will be adding those same contacts as a new contact in Active Campaign. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on PubliConnect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of PubliConnect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free PubliConnect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as ClickFunnel to Active Campaign. And then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new contact or new form submission or response from ClickFunnel. So we have to connect our ClickFunnel account, our ClickFunnel website with Pavli Connect and after that we can get that data. And using Pavli Connect, we are going to send those same details of a new contact to active campaign so that we can add that user in our active campaign account as a new contact. So let's begin. Now here in trigger window in choose app search for click funnel. Select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down select the trigger event as new contact created. After selecting a trigger event probably can it give us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL we are going to connect our click funnel account with probably connect. And how you can do that? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. Just copy this webhook URL from here and go to your ClickFunnel account. After reaching to your ClickFunnel dashboard, on the left side, just click on this settings option. And after reaching to the settings page, at last you will see an option of webhooks on the left hand bar. Just click on this webhooks button. After clicking on webhooks, just click on this add new endpoint and then give this webhook URL, this, give this endpoint a name. For example, I would like to name it as Pavli. And here in URL section guys, we have to paste the same webhook URL which we have copied from Pavli Connect. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. At last, it is asking us event type. And in the drop down below, we can see a list of different events over here. Out of all of this, we are going to select the event type as contact.created. Just select this event and click on create endpoint. And that is it. We can see that we have successfully added this webhook URL in our ClickFunnel account. After adding it, we have successfully connected our ClickFunnel account with Pavli Connect. Now whenever a new contact will be created in ClickFunnel, automatically the details of that newly created contact will be captured inside Pavli Connect. And guys, we are going to do the same. So this is my ClickFunnel website and here guys, we are going to create a new contact. Let's click on this get started today button and here you can see that a pop-up form is appearing in front of us. Now here guys, let's enter the details of a new user. For example, test Pavli. This is the name of the person. Then let's enter the email address as test at the red and the mobile number as this. And then just click on this click to sign up button. Okay, so just now we can see that we have just now entered the details of a new user in the form. And as we enter this detail, the user has been added as a new contact in ClickFunnel. And we will see the details of this new contact will also be captured inside Pavli Connect. And yes, here in our Pavli Connect workflow, we can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you will see the details of the same contact. So we'll scroll down and here we can see the same phone number which we have entered while in the form submission in the opt-in form of our click panel over here. Then we have the after phone number, we have the last name, then we have the first name and the email address. 
Now this means guys, the connection between click funnel and Pabli Connect is working perfectly fine. And every time a new contact will be added in our click funnel account, the details of that new contact will be captured inside Pabli Connect. Now after this guys, after completing this first step, let's move to step two. And in step two, we have to add this same contact in our active campaign account. Now to do so, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for active campaign. After selecting active campaign, here in action event from the drop down, select create a contact as the action event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now at this step, we have to connect our active campaign account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, it is asking us two basic things. First one is the API key and second one is the URL. So now you must be thinking how you can get this API key and URL from your active campaign account. Now to get this guys, just go to the dashboard of your active campaign account and from the left side, click on this settings option. Now after reaching to this settings page, here on the left side, you can see a list of different options out of which we have to click on this developers. And then here you can see the URL and the API key of your active campaign account. Now from this URL section, just copy this API URL from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Now the help text below it says, enter your active campaign URL example this. So we just have to basically enter the URL notch the HTTP S colon double forward slash. So let's remove this. And this is the URL of our active campaign account, which Pavli Connect was asking us. Now let's enter the API key. Let's get back to active campaign, copy this API key from here and paste it over here and click on save. And in this way, we will successfully connect our active campaign account with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the email. That what is the email address of the person to whom we want to add as a contact in active campaign. So we have received the email address from ClickFunnels responses. So this is the response of email. And from this response, we have to basically map the same email address over here. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the responses which we have received from ClickFunnel can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of email address and it will be mapped. So whatever email address the user is going to enter in this opt-in form of ClickFunnel, using those same email address, we are going to add that user as a contact in active campaign. Now after email, it is asking us first name. So let's map it, just click here. And from the drop down, by following the same process of mapping, select the response of first name and map it. Follow the same process for last name as well. Click here and from the drop down, map the last name. This is the response. And at last, map the phone number. Let's map the phone number. And after mapping all of this required data, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the user whose data we have mapped over here, basically the contact which was created, which was newly added in our ClickFunnel account, it's been added as a new contact in active campaign as well. So let's check it. We will go to active campaign. We will go to contact section. And yes, guys, here you can see that test Pavli, the same user whose detail we have just now few minutes ago added in the form in our click funnel website. The same user has been added as a new contact in active campaign with the same detail. We have the same first name, same last name, same email and the same phone number. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. For example, in this web page, in this website of our click funnel, let's create another contact. Click on this get started today button. And here now let's enter the details of a new user. For example, the name will be demo test. This is the name of the person. This is the email address and let's enter the mobile number as well. And after entering this phone number, click on this click to sign up button. So just now we have created or we have added a new contact in our click panel account. And we will say instantly within second, the same contact will be added in active campaign. So let's check it. Let's go to active campaign, contacts page. And yes, 
demo test, the same user is instantly added as a new contact over here. Now this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, you can add new contact in active campaign whenever a new contact will be created in click panel. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.